Ninja Roblox drama today with ooh cute single deleting her channel from YouTube, rebooted puppy deleting her channel too, big Roblox YouTube is getting terminated, I'm getting banned from YouTube, sim builder getting banned from Roblox, and much much more. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're happy that ooh cute single is gone from YouTube for now, and make sure to watch until the end because this video is crazy. So first story comes in with the massive and extremely controversial Roblox YouTuber called ooh cute single actually removing and deleting her channel off of YouTube to avoid getting terminated by the infamous telegram group called YouTube Termers who have gotten Clown Giao terminated as well as a plethora of other YouTube creators such as iWindow L and as of recently we have actually covered them extensively in previous videos. So basically ooh cute single wasn't banned contrary to popular belief but she did in fact remove her channel herself off of YouTube to avoid being under fire and receiving tons of strikes. And after the YouTuber Termers situation is sorted where you know YouTube patches the report strategy that YouTube termers utilize because YouTubers such as Creecraft have now brought attention to this, uh, Uwaku Single will most likely just reinstate their channel to public visibility again once this whole situation is blown over. This is exactly what Maximilimus did as well when he was called out by Moist Critical in the past as he removed his channel and then put it back up later, you know, obviously to avoid the drama which ensued. Also, if you look on Social Blade, Uwaku Single a few days ago had actually tried to private a lot of her videos too. So this is just definitely her going on to damage control. Ooh cute single's friend also called Rebooted Puppy too, who we have covered extensively on this channel for posting not safe for work to minors, for striking people such as my friends and more, also removed their channel from YouTube to obviously avoid getting suspended. So it's looking like the major giants of the Roblox shorts drama such as Clown Giao, Ooh cute single and Rebooted Puppy are either terminated or deleted. And it's crazy to see too, it's like a ghost town now. Keep in mind these are some of the biggest ever YouTubers to have deleted their channel from YouTube. There's literally a list with Rebooted Poppy on there, and that is the current threat these YouTube termers post, that these massive YouTubers have to literally delete their channel or, you know, remove it temporarily to avoid getting terminated. Like, these YouTube termers literally consistently go after Roblox Shorts creators and mass report their content with some program and gets them taken down for spam and deceptive practices. Another YouTuber called Juliet Mime Roblox, who was friends with UQ single in their friend group was also terminated as of recently and ringheads removed all of their content and locked their channel giving their final word and stated how youtube needs to fix this issue and that apparently these people are reporting people for reusing thumbnails however personally i believe they're reporting people for the like and subscribe for and then so and so thing so this whole roblox shorts dynasty has actually been taken down very quickly so make sure to comment your opinions about this situation because the youtube termers are now claiming to be going after me and I'm literally shaking in my custom-made leather boots right now. I'm so terrified. Give them my timbers! Bruh. Shut up, man! So am I in danger? Well, who knows? Keep in mind these YouTube termers have yet to get one long-form channel taken down, so I think we can see where their termination skills fall a little short, so I'm not really bothered at all. Anyway, next story comes in with a sim builder situation. As I'm sure many of you who are aware, sim builder basically came into RDC, tried to trespass, and then started fighting police when he was being restrained and was resisting arrest and he was literally acting like a fully grown ogre fighting his way through an army here is the clip if you haven't seen it Later on, it was also found out that he had a concealed firearm with armor-piercing rounds in his car, and I'm certain he wasn't really planning on doing anything bad with them. However, since the items were so close to the RDC venue, they were basically legally required to shut down RDC for security reasons. Anyway, Roblox recently banned SimBuilder's account, and he probably lost so much potential revenue from the site because of this happening. However, it was pretty much due to his own actions, and it was pretty much deserved. The dude needs mental help to get him out of the state he currently is now. Now, and I hope he can recover. Now, final news comes from the YouTuber Too Mad being in apparent drama with Kaneko Kin now, or trash talking him. Now, for those who don't know, Kaneko Kin recently left his massive main channel to pursue more fulfilling ventures in his life, like bodybuilding, and is documenting his progression on his alternate channel called Kaneko, basically going over his YouTube career and talking about the pro 
problems he's had with YouTube content creation, specifically drama as a whole. And well, he made a video titled Why I Fell Off, and Too Mad said, You'll never catch me making a video like this, despite the fact that this guy can't pull like 20 likes on his Twitter account, which has over 600,000 followers, and he literally skits or posts every 50 seconds. Now, I think Kaneko Kitten's position is on a much higher pedestal than this guy is currently. I don't even think this guy, Too Mad, has any viable grounds to talk down to anybody, considering what he's been exposed for recently. And as Schlepp also said in reply to Tumad, the Kaneko Kin video is about how he saved his friend from a rapist and how he had to distance himself from YouTube because of it. At that point, I decided that I would not let my friend live at Fire Sales Place because I did not feel like that place was a safe environment, nor would it be comfortable for anybody. I still lived with my parents at the time, but so I couldn't really like, you know, just chuck my friend in at my house or some shit. Ooh. So you wanna know what I did? I impulse bought a house. Yes, I show you not. I went out with my mom and my stepfather and looked at around two or three houses and without much thought into it, I really just kind of impulse bought, you know, whatever was what was in my range of money at the time. My friend didn't really have that much of a place to go. Like, they had just kind of moved to Florida on a whim to get away from family situations at the time. And, you know, I wanted to provide a safe place for my friend to be, to be able to kind of like try to heal from that situation. So I uploaded a YouTube video in 2021 titled, I am slowing down, where I said that I did everything I wanted to do on YouTube, that I purchased a house and, you know, everything was all dandy, but that wasn't, that wasn't what was actually going on. Like, you know, what was really going on was that? Like, literally, he's just being extremely disrespectful here and has completely negated the context or the story behind the video. He just went ahead and made fun of Kaneko. Editing, and as I'm saying this right now, tons of people from like the Roblox community and like Roblox influencers are literally dogging him right now in the comments. And will Kaneko can even ever respond to this? <laughs> no, he probably doesn't even care what this guy has to say at all. I think if anyone truly fell off, it was too mad. From a position where even I loved his content and used to watch it a lot, to just seeing him now being self-destructive, broken, and in a depressive state he is in now. Like, honestly, just with Sim Builder, I hope Too Mad gets help as well, because clearly he's not in a good mental state either. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new, and comment your opinions about all these situations down below. And also comment Pickle if you've made it this far. And make sure to like and subscribe if you're happy that evil Roblox Shorts YouTuber dynasty with Uwaku Single, Clown Jam, and Rebooted Poppy has come to an end, it seems. And let's hit 7,000 likes. And once again, this video is not intended for hate, harassment, or cyberbullying, or anything like that. This is just an educational video going into the entire situation as a whole. And make sure to watch my other videos too. Goodbye. I also would like to give some recognition to my main, to my main man, Parlo.